Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to go over WooCommerce shipping uh, options, how to set them up, what exactly, what options you have exactly, um, and what option kind of suits you best. So once you have all your physical products set up, um, you need a way to kind of ship them um, and offer sort of shipping. Um, so what you want to do is navigate onto WooCommerce and you want to go into settings. Um, once you're in settings, you want to go into the shipping tab specifically. And you want to set up something called a shipping zone. So shipping zones are essentially areas to which you ship your items to. So you can get really specific and select a particular region or even particular zip codes. Um, or you can leave it more general to like a sort of certain country, whichever kind of suits you best essentially. Um, so in this example here, you can just show a local zone. Um, and for local zones, you can only do local pickup. You can do a domestic zone. So for example, all US states or uh, all con all, uh, at all states within a country or cities within a country, and that'll have a flat rate shipping. Or you can do an entire zone, so uh, like Europe zone, so any country in Europe, and that again shows flat rate shipping. Um, so you can add different zones, as many different zones as you need to, and you can add different rules for each zone essentially. So to add a zone, what you want to do is click add shipping zone here or up here. And you want to give it a name. So for example, if you wanted to do UK delivery. Um, and then you want to give it a region. So this is for the UK delivery. So you want to, if you click on UK, um, you have that as an option. Um, and then within that, what you can do is you can limit to specific postcodes. Um, so if you had different postcodes that you wanted to uh, limit to, you can. Um, if you wanted to follow essentially um, uh, a zip code, then you can have a specific set of uh, zip codes. So essentially one per line. Um, so for example, if you wanted to limit to two uh, zip codes. Um, so I've got a zip code per line, so it's only limited to these two zip codes here. Um, but what you can also do is set something called a wildcard. So with wildcards, you won't need to type in the full zip code. You just need to type in a little bit of it and then the wildcard here. So that means this is limited to any postcode that starts with BT. It can end in whatever uh, number or letter, but if it starts with BT, then it's applied to this zone here. Um, so you can get really specific and it doesn't have to be as tedious as adding each postcode um, every single time. Uh, but once you have the zone set up, what you want to do is actually add the shipping methods. So there's three different types of shipping methods. There's flat rate, free shipping, or local pickup. With the flat rate, if you were to select that, um, you can see you can have a uh, flat rate here. So it'll let you charge a fixed rate for shipping. If you click on edit, you can decide what that charge is. So for example, say it's $5.99. That is now the flat rate uh, of for people delivering, for people using delivery uh, within the UK. Um, and you can add Diff uh, different num number of shipping methods. So for example, if you wanted to offer free delivery, uh, you want to click on add shipping method and click free shipping method and click add shipping. And then you want to add the conditions for free, free shipping. So free shipping requires either a valid free shipping coupon. So you want to set up a coupon um, for free shipping that they can use at the checkout, a minimum order amount. So this is the total number of their uh, order. And if they meet, if they reach that, then they're offered free shipping. And you can decide if you want to apply the minimum order order rule before coupon discount. So if they're using a coupon to uh, obviously get a discount, you can decide if you want to add this rule either before or after the discount. Um, and you can decide if you want a minimum order or a coupon. So if they have a minimum order, they get uh, of 50 pounds then they get the then they get the free shipping or if they have a coupon they can also get free shipping so you can decide if you want to give them that option or you can do a minimum order and a coupon and um, so they would need to make the minimum order amount as well as having a coupon as well and um, so it's really flexible in terms of how you want people to get that um, for now we'll just stick to minimum order amount and you can also do a local pickup so if you were to click uh, on local pickup add that as a shipping option 
then you can all you need to do then is add the price um, of the of the local pickup um, maybe it might be cheaper or it can even just be free um, so once you have all of that you just want to make sure that you save everything um, so everything's already saved sort of automatically so now when we go back to shipping zones Uh, you see we have the UK delivery and um, by default you also have this section here so locations not covered by your zones so this is used for any region uh, for this is essentially this uh, used for regions that aren't included in any other shipping zone so this is set to United Kingdom so any if anyone tries to um, put in a delivery uh, postcode to a region that's not within this region then essentially no shipping zones, no shipping methods will be offered because you don't ship to that zone. Um, so if you wanted to add another one, but you wanted to specify to only do, uh, so for example, if you uh, wanted to add another one, say for the United King, uh, United States, Um, and you can add shipping zones for that. So depending on where you are, that might be a more uh, expensive option. So what you can do is you can add a flat rate for this zone as well, but you can have it a different amount to your previous ta ta uh, tax rate. Um, so say it's fifty nine nine, um, and save changes. So that means if someone tries to enter a postcode that's within the US, then they'll be given this flat rate and not the UK flat rate. So you can offer different flat rates for different zones if it's more expensive to ship to another zone. Um, and then you can do it that way. You can order, uh, change the order of different shipping zones. And the reason why that's important is to, um, is to know that basically shipping zones will match the customer address from top to bottom. So the first to match the customer address is always used. And if there's no custom zones that match, then it'll fall into locations not co covered by your other zones. Um, so just something to note, essentially. Uh, next thing you want to check out is the shipping options. So these are sort of additional settings that you have um, within WooCommerce shipping. Um, and these are things like essentially uh, calculations. So you can enable the shipping calculator on the cart page. So on the cart page, essentially, there'll be there a section where they can add their postcode and it'll calculate uh, the shipping option. You can either choose to enable that or just to fully hide the shipping costs until an address is entered. Um, and then you have the shipping destination. So you can default to the customer's shipping address. So you can default to customer's billing address or you can force the shipping to the customer billing address. So it's up to you how you want to work that. Um, and debug mode is just if you want to enable that you can show uh, any issues that you're having that way. So that's all the shipping options that you have. Um, so you can uh, do different shipping options for different areas and it helps you kind of manage the delivery a little bit easier if you want to offer pickup for certain areas, if you want to offer delivery for certain areas, um, WooCommerce make it easy to do it that way. Um, but essentially, once your shipping's are, shipping uh, options are set up, um, you're essentially ready to ship out your, your physical products um, for people to start buying on your site.